Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making it Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand there. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Got him. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. You got to check these low leg kicks. 
Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And he landed the right hand there. You got him with his hip. He's that kick. Efficient with that jab. Doubles up on it now. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Right hand on point. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Nice defense there, huge block. Just misses there with the left. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big ball for Brunson Lance. Now he gets back to range. Got the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Dig and kick. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Way to hide that leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Just missed with the left there. Let's get going now. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Nice. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Able to check the high kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Plus right hand is true. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Alright, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. when that leg kick's coming. Circling away towards the left now. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, tags him with the overhead. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Slip that off him from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on feet right now. Oh, big left. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Looking for that left hand, not there. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Blocks the shot. Switching stances here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, misses with the jab. Good punch land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allow him to get that technique off. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. It's such a fast leg kick. Look at how it turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Nice punch by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, collar tie. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice strike. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. How about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. 
But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep doing it. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end muscle. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Good stick. Out of range with that one. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big punch land. Ooh. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight. But now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating work at the body. And those shots are going to count. Nice strike. lands the right hand. Now connects with the right. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Effective punch there by Lee. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Straight right hand, no good. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Hands up. Nice body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh my goodness! I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch lands over the top. Right hand upstairs. 
15 seconds remain in the round. He has commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Can't take many of those, you better check. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, he might be out. His misses are entertaining. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the bar. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Big body kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Body kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Big leg kick land. like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. Well, at this point of the fight, he is way up on the judges' scorecards, and from a stamina standpoint, he looks like he can fight all night. He does a fantastic job of fighting at a great pace, but also knowing exactly where to preserve and well, to conserve the energy, and it's showing when you look at his gas tank, and it seems as though it's still full. What a tricky head kick. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. Under one minute remains in round four of a possible five. 
Nice punch man. Under a minute to go in round four. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big kick lands. Oh, tank. I'm sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hit like that, you are on wobbly legs. Right under the elbow. Oh, he bowed and he lands. Wow. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. It is the fifth and final round. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Goes to the body there. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop picks up twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Punches blocked. Got clipped with the right hand. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Right punches there. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Oh! What a spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. He missed with that jab attempt. Straight punch lands. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you can... Whoa! Remain in round five. Big kick land. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. He can't take any of those kicks. Real sneaky body kick. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he's out. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during 
fight week played out here on Fight Night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and marched right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock.